pleasure to meet you all at last. And here I am, another Watch That episode has come across. And that's because, in spite of how we're closing in on the date that I planned to end this series, I've still got more questions left that are unanswered at this point. And so, I just plan to keep going here to answer more questions and to get a lot more people excited about what could happen in the future based on answering questions at given points in time. For today's question, I got myself something that really, really might be enjoyable at some point. Because this question here comes from another YouTube commenter. From another, from another YouTube commenter who ended up asking me, why is that you proved to have such a high IQ? Now, there's a lot more to my IQ than you probably already think, because my IQ ended up springing upwards because of a simple aptitude test that I ended up taking back in fifth grade. I refused to have my name announced on the PA system when my score was handed over to me because I found out that it could be embarrassing and I found out that it could be a pretty bad time for me. And of course, for fifth grade, it wasn't always going to be as exciting for me because onwards to sixth grade and seventh grade and onwards, I knew that my IQ would be something that's all about me. But now, I'm making it public because this story of mine, this IQ that I've got myself, is 100 80 points. That's right, my IQ is 180 points. And this was all because of that aptitude test that I ended up taking back in fifth grade. And onwards from middle school to high school and onwards is where I ended up explaining to people based on my side of the view to have such a high IQ on me, which I don't see many people getting at this point. And that's because aptitude tests aren't always going to end off in a much more explosive ending with a lot of different emotions that could play out out from the very beginning up until some point in which that you end up graduating from high school and then college because my reaction to having such a high IQ at this point, give or take the fact that I have myself a high IQ, or anybody else that might have a high IQ, in contrast to me, there's just some point in time in which that the truth ends up coming out, and the darkness just sets within. That's just what I say about this whole story. Because as it turns out, I've got myself a high IQ now, and there's just not really any other way to change it. There's just nothing else that I can pretty much do. Although, give or take the fact that I have actually received a certificate based on my aptitude test completion, along with an IQ number that had been listed on there, 180, I knew from that point on, after fifth grade, that I would have to keep this as some sort of a token of honor. A certificate like that might have to be kept in some sort of a safe place. And this would be to ensure that my IQ would be kept with me at all times. And this would also determine the fact that what my IQ plays from this point on will determine how well my reputation handles and how well I ended up hand handling school in any given points after fifth grade middle school and high school, and now that I'm out of high school, going on to college, I feel that I'm more confident in myself based on what my IQ has been giving me. There's just so much to me that I have not actually realized. Because as it turns out, from a very young age, there was so much about me that had not risen up yet. They were pretty much just dormant within my own brain. However, though, to talk about the certificate of the IQ that I received, it did have itself a pretty happy ending because at one point, a couple of years back, somewhere in the summertime was where there was a party going on and there was a fire outside. And, of course, this is not very 
satisfying for me to really talk about because I brought my certificate with my IP list out at one point and eventually, bam, the wind just took that certificate out of my hands and it just settled it right into the fire. And that right there was just history. That certificate was little more than just history. I knew from this point onwards, from that point onwards, that I knew my IQ would not be totally erased because that certificate was pretty much the only proof that I had to prove my, my IQ was like that. That certificate was the only proof that I had on me that would prove my IQ was that high. But yet, the memory has not even faded from that moment. And up until today, I still regret the fact that I have actually brought their certificate outside and had it blown away by the wind just to have it burn up in flames. But when you think about it, it might also be the fact that my IQ has forever been lost and that there's no other way to be able to recover it. But unfortunately though, when they find out that you received such a high IQ and give you a certificate for that, there's always a point in time in which that the memory of you receiving a certificate for anything that you got won't fade from your mind. Your memory keeps those thoughts with you at all times, unless you plan to forget about them. Of which I will not even think about forgetting about that particular moment of which I had my certificate burst into flames and eventually my IQ ended up being smoked. No pun intended. And so, I just have no idea what else I can pretty much do. I have actually taken similar IQ tests after that, but of which they were much more different tests. Ultimately though, I would say that 180 would happen to be such an amazing IQ, but it's still not even close to high enough to outclass William James this, in which, so this is IQ, is 250 to 300 points, of which that would be the highest IQ in human history. And there is actually a top 10 countdown on a particular website that I've come across based on the highest IQs in history. And you might start asking me, why am I not in that list? Well, that was because, like I've said, I've intended to keep my IQ a secret for years to come. And then I eventually started talking about it around the end of 10th grade. And from this point on, I am going to end up doing that same exact IQ test that I took. My aptitude test, it was known as back then, but I found out that it was to find out what IQ I had and how it would determine my current future. Of which I'm having myself an amazing future right now. Of which that many people don't even have now. Not that I'm trying to brag or even boast about it. I still feel like that, that was a pretty unbelievable story. I ended up earning a high IQ and I ended up burning a certificate thanks to the dang wind. But if you want to see more, go down on my channel. And if you want to hear more about my IQ even, make sure that you like, subscribe, comment, follow me on social media, and stay on the Hollywood side.